Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 23 of Kenya's Market Map. This is a weekly podcast that maps out business activities in the region and provides an in-depth analysis. I'm your host today, Kigen Kipimo, and uh, we have a special guest here, um, Stephanie. So Stephanie, welcome to Kenya's Market Map. Uh, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. So um, I guess you can tell our viewers and listeners um, just a little bit of what you do and uh, also what you do outside work. Yeah. Um, Stephanie Kimani. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn as well as Stephanie Kimani as well. I'm an economist with a certain tier one bank wow. in the country. <laughs> 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 One of the largest banks in East Africa, actually. So, sure. yes, um, that's what I do for my eight to five, and I'm as well uh, Mama Biashara. We have to hustle in this Nairobi, so <laughs> Mama Biashara, and uh, a mother of two young oh. gents as well, oh. Oh, raising the male population. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm very glad to be here. Wow, oh. fantastic, great. Um, and I am Easter funny. You are about to move on like I never existed here. Yeah. Uh, no, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. No, we have a special guest, you know, for once, um, we've seen a lot in, in the comments, you know, inbox yeah. that uh, Kenya's market map is a boys club and uh, we need a lady. So, wow, you talked and we listened. <laughs> and she listened. Absolutely. Wow. Fantastic. We're glad to have you here, Stephanie. Thanks. Fantastic. Mm. Then let's start with Esther. What was your highlight of the week? Uh, my highlight of this week um, is quite close to what we're going to discuss today mm -hmm. um that's with regard to safaricom yeah yeah and the payment systems ah, of course the so, dividend you are happy there's that, <laughs> yes, that. i'm very happy by the way you're an I'm investor yeah he holds safaricom. the he holds, he holds yeah. the, the stock it's not like it's some million shares okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so that's some good news on that side but then um i was actually talking about the payment system yeah. and the cbk mm -hmm. so the cbk is looking at make, coming up with a system that's integrated to ensure that these mobile payment platforms yeah. are integrated mm -hmm. so if if you have um airtel money and you have safaricom you yeah. can use them interchangeably or inter they should be interoperable yeah sure so you can pay to a safari till number yeah. via airtel money that's not been the case so, yeah absolutely um, yeah so i'm keen to see how that would play out in especially considering that mpesa is one of the biggest um cash cows for MP for safaricom yeah um how that will turn out because it's definitely going to eat into their margins yeah, yeah. and uh, that's that's an interesting conversation and uh, of course we'll be taking a deep dive into mm -hmm. that under the cbk payment be, strategy actually that's to be done in 2024 yeah by 2024 absolutely the payment strategy is from 2022 to 2025 mm. so we'll be having a more discussion into that and remember you can always follow us on twitter at market map underscore ke linkedin kenya's market map check out our website kenya's market map dot com stephanie what stood out for you this week um obviously russia ukraine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big the one. conflict there has been quite interesting to follow sure. especially for those who may not have understood what happened before mm. so it's of interest to me especially because everyone in the world seems to be focused on that and neglecting the fact that there are other mini wars or other wars happening around the world mm -hmm. so it's of interest as to why is that the main focus yeah. and how can we educate yeah. the general public at this particular time that there are other conflicts that yeah. we should also be paying attention to That's today, like today you'll be educated <laughs> today you'll be educated about this stuff yes. interesting for me i think something that stood out for me is a conversation i was having yesterday with um one of the players in manufacturing and in cement particularly and this gentleman was telling me that for him so he has a cement distribution business across all the counties and he was telling me that he has to pay distribution license in each and every of the 47 mm. counties mm. so if he goes to nyamira he's mm. paying 30k mm. for a distribution permit for the cement if he goes next door to bomet next door to kisi he pays a, a, a distribution license in each of those 47 counties and i remember and, and that reminded me of a conversation that we've had here before yeah. about branding so today if you have your own brand let's say kenya's market map yeah. and you're selling what um crisps and you brand yeah. your trailer or your truck yeah. or your van yeah. kenya's market map yeah. you have to pay branding charges to the county government in nairobi if you go next door to kiambu you're gonna pay that 
na na kumu you gonna pay that till you get to Kisumu wherever you go all those counties you will have to pay for that so i mean this it came to my mind that the inception of counties was supposed to make business easier but it's actually moving in the other direction mm. so from the conversation i explored different things and perhaps uh, those gava guys who listen to us this is something they can take up so why don't they work in terms of regional blocks okay so the way we have the north rift economic block mm. the way we have the lake economic block you know to on, on the west kilometers you've crossed to the next it doesn't really make business sense to yes. do that is your issue the the amount that has to be paid or yeah. is it that um the mere fact that you have to pay to for me it's, it's, it's the mere factor and how it's structured that's why i'm proposing they do it in terms of the regional blocks so if if they have it that um the whole country is now subdivided into let's say four regional blocks yeah so you're paying the same amount but the recipient is just the yeah the, can, that's the oh, difference really? you want them to pay the same amount yeah. imagine they still have to pay I because my issue is that them. you have to pay yeah ah, they have yeah. to pay yeah. the amount so you have to make the amount uniform in this regional block not really i feel like you why why do you even need to charge in the first place because this is it really was that an example or yeah, that's an actual it's, it's actually a mirror you have to pay 30k for that's, distribution i think that's so much that's, that's the correct much. figure i think that's too much yeah it is yeah and it's county specific it's county so specific if you came to nairobi it's yeah. more expensive yeah exactly yeah more expensive. yeah okay so at least they have to harmonize it i don't know what it's called the mobile advertisement i think mm -hmm. there's a name for it i don't know if that's the, the right name yeah but if you brand your like you said the kenyan market kenya's market map um van mm -hmm. then now you traverse the counties yeah so do you have to pay for the mere fact that you use the road that cuts across a county or is you're, that you're in that you county so the notion is that you're advertising to people in that county that's why you're paying why okay I, I, yeah I so that's that's, that's how hard it is to do business in this country so i mean that's something that's it's it's a huge pain to businesses because mm. paying in so you can imagine you're doing distribution and on top of it you've branded your car so you're paying for you're paying for distribution then you're paying for now the, the branding payment, yeah. then we also have to pay sales you know if you're using a, a huge truck so the amounts you're supposed to pay in these counties and they're different so you yeah. go to lamu county different you move to tana river you move to yeah. kilefi yeah. all are different figures and they all determine that's quite interesting because i didn't know that yeah and since as you said kenya market map educates <laughs> <laughs> for us to look at it later on and establish whether indeed yeah. there are those kinds of fees across mm. all various sectors mm. because if it's distribution i understand yeah. I, mean, I almost understand why they would charge per county yeah. and also understand your reasoning based on the regional economic blocks yeah. but in terms of marketing yeah. and plan, yeah. that doesn't make any sense to me because <laughs> when you're traversing and going across the country yeah. why would you have to pay across each county mm -hmm. that for market, every single day it's for every single journey it doesn't yeah. make sense i think mm. it's an annual payment or something yeah it is it is an annual payment so it's like the permit the license so the license gonna last like uh, till the next financial year for the government okay yeah okay but it's still a huge amount an unnecessary amount for that matter especially now that you know where those where the money ends up uh -huh. it's not in the government coffers <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know that's that's a big conversation and easter easter doesn't have nice words for the government <laughs>